Hi everybody. I shall explain to you another type of nucleophilic substitution reaction or mechanism that is SNI mechanism. All right. Uh, we have heard of, we have discussed about SN1 and SN2 mechanism. Now we'll be discussing about SNI mechanism. Now we'll see what it is, what is, how it is, it, uh, what is the pathway or what is the mechanism happening, etc. Now, as the name suggests, SNI implicates substitution nucleophilic internal. So, there is a nucleophilic substitution happening internally within the molecule. Or we can say that the nucleophile comes with the, from the molecule itself, from the reactant itself. The attacking nucleophile is from the molecule or from the reactant itself. We shall see how it's happening. As an example, we'll take this reaction, reaction of alpha phenyl ethanol with SOCl2. All right, we get a corresponding chloride with retention of configuration. That is, if you start with S alcohol, you get S chloride. If you start with R alcohol, you get R chloride. So the configuration of the product and the reactant remains the same. If this was to happen, if this uh, this is a nucleophilic substitution wherein the nucleophile is a chloride ion, had this been happening with, uh, I mean, if if we have got a racemic mixture as a product, we would have told that we would have said that it is in uh, it is moving via SN1 pathway. There is racemic mixture. There is a uh, con combination of different the two different configurations the product will be having will be of s configuration and r configuration and if there was complete inversion of the uh, configuration we were told it would have gone via sn2 pathway but then here we are getting a complete retention of configuration that is the product and the reactant are having the same configuration so, we go for another pathway, another mechanism called the SNI mechanism. Now, if there was, uh, if we had got an alkene instead of uh, the halides, we would have told that it was, the uh, reaction is an elimination reaction. Now, since we are talking about nucleophilic substitutions, we will not touch upon that. Now, we will see what is happening in SNI mechanism called why there is a retention of configuration. Now, uh, this is the whole reaction with the mechanism. Now, initially, in the first step, what happens is a chlorosulfide is formed, an alkyl chlorosulfide is formed. Hope you can see here. So, the S alcohol, we have taken the S alcohol, S phenyl ethyl alcohol, it reacts with our SOCl2 thionyl chloride, and then you see here an intermediate is formed with a positive charge on the oxygen. All right. Now here uh, the this uh, chloride is lost over here from here. thionyl chloride. One chloride is lost when the oxygen reacts or attacks the sulfur. That chloride ion abstracts this proton. Okay, and the oxygen, the positive charge in the oxygen is lost, and its Cl is formed here. Okay, so and, and the inter, this compound formed is called the alkyl chlorosulfite, or you simply call it as chlorosulfite. Now, this chlorosulfite then forms an intimate ion pair. That means they will. De, uh, they will uh, dissociate, the, the, this compound alkyl chlorosulfite will dissociate, but the dissociated, I mean when the, the cation and the anion formed after dissociation will not move apart, they will remain together as such as an intimate ion pair. Alright, they are not dissociating. Now, here you have a cation, a carbocation here, alright. And the chloride ion, the chlorine on the uh, on the anion will attack this carbocation. See here, you can see here. Okay, since this anion, the negative charge of the oxygen goes to the uh, sulfur, 
uh, OS bond and the chloride ion attacks the uh, carbocation. Now, then what happens? A sulfur dioxide molecule is released and you get the uh, chloride compound with the retention of configuration because the chloride ion is attacking from the same side of the leaving group. So, since there is intimate ion pair formation, only a front side attack is possible, back side attack is not possible. That means that the chloride or the nucleophile is forced to attack from the same side as that of the original COH bond. And this is also called internal attack. Since this remains as an intimate ion pair, uh, we can say that the uh, the nucleophilic attack is happening internally, okay, within the alkyl fluorosulfide. All right. Uh, certain certain authors say that this OCO bond uh, just uh, uh, bends and then the chlorine comes closer to carbon and uh, then it attacks the carbon and this uh, CO bond is broken. Okay, so that becomes a, a, a sort of a concerted mechanism, but uh, this is more accepted mechanism wherein the formation of intimate ion pair is occurring and you get the product with the same configuration as that of the reactant. All right. Now, similar reaction or similar mechanism or similar retention configuration is seen when you use phosgene CuCl2. Okay, there loss of there is loss of HCl and carbon dioxide. When you use thionyl chloride, there is loss of HCl and SO2. All right. So, when octanol is uh, treated with phosgene, you get 2-chloro-octane, again with retention of configuration. Now, when our uh, compound, the S compound is treated with thionyl chloride in the presence of pyridine, we get R product, that is there is inversion of configuration. So, in the presence of pyridine, there is inversion of configuration. Remember, when you treat this compound, uh, I mean the uh, alcohol with thionyl chloride in the presence of ether or dioxane, you get the same configuration. But in the presence of pyridine, you get uh, the inverted product. Okay. So, how is that happening? Another example wherein we observe similar uh, similar. Uh, or pattern is with malic acid. Malic acid, when treated with thionyl fluoride in the presence of pyridine, will give you inverted product. That is, it goes by a SO2 mechanism to give fluorosuccinic acid. But uh, when you use either or in, uh, dioxane or any other solvent, you get complete retained product. The product will, there will be retention of configuration. So, you can say that the solvent has got an important uh, role to uh, in deciding the configuration of the product formed. So, if you change the uh, solvent to any uh, uh, basic alkaline solvent like pyridine, then the uh, we will not get the expected configuration, we will not get the retained product, we will be getting the inverted product. Now, what's happening when you use pyridine? Let us see. Now, uh, in the presence of pyridine, see, you, we have the alkyl fluorosulfide formed here. The uh, Initially, it is the same, same step as with uh, thionyl chloride. Oxygen attacks the sulfur. Chloride ion is lost. That chloride ion uh, takes up the, this proton and then HCl is removed and you get the alkyl chlorosulfide. Now the pyridine, what the pyridine does is it will attack the sulfur and the chlorine attached to the sulfur is lost, is removed. Okay, now this chloride ion is free. Alright, this chloride ion is free. In the earlier mechanism, I mean when there was no pyridine, this chloride ion was not removed, it was not released. 
all right there was dissociation of this c uh, uh, co bond and a cation and an anion was formed but here the chloride ion is lost so this uh, you can say pyridinium chloride is formed now this uh, or you can say free chloride ions are regenerated now this free chloride ion can attack the this carbon atom either from this side or from this side as shown in the picture uh, this is the actual pathway of attack now this chloride ion will not attack from the front side or on the from the same side of that of the CO bond because of the presence of this bulky group over here so the chloride ion will prefer preferably attack from the back side and you get the inverted product all right so that's how in the presence of pyridine we get inverted product or you can say that this moves via sn2 mechanism because there is backside attack okay so there is it is moving via sn2 mechanism now why is that because free chloride ions are generated because in the presence of pyridine all right now this is the darzen process all right, that is a reaction of alcohol with thionyl chloride in the presence of pyridine is Darzen's process, where an SN2 mechanism is the uh, mechanism uh, operating there. Okay, now uh, the rate of the reaction depends upon the uh, reactant as well as the thionyl chloride. So both uh, the reactant and thionyl, the alcohol and thionyl chloride decides the rate of the reaction. You change the concentration of alcohol, you change the concentration of thionyl chloride, the rate changes. Okay, so you can say that it is a second order reaction. All right, but the rate of decomposition of the intermediate increases with increase in polarity of the solvent. You increase the polarity of the solvent, the Chlorosulfide, alkyl chlorosulfide uh, decomposes at a faster rate. That is, the formation of ion pair will be faster at, in the presence of polar solvent. So, another point to explain the effect of solvent on the rate of the reaction of SNI mechanism. Now, this SNI mechanism, there is an, a rearrangement also happening, particularly with allyl system. Again, okay, there is allylic rearrangement happening. We'll see that. See here, when you use substituted allyl alcohols in ether, they form substituted allyl chlorides via SN1 mechan sorry, SNI mechanism. See here you have crotyl alcohol. It it will give you give us alpha methyl allyl chloride. Now here you you are getting uh, see here. Uh, the double bond is present here that there is a shift of the double bond to the terminal end so see here it was a primary alcohol over here you're getting a secondary halide now you are, another example if you're using a secondary alcohol we are getting a primary halide all right so there is a rearrangement of the allyl there is rearrangement of the allyl system if you start with primary alcohol, we get secondary chloride. You start with secondary alcohol, we get primary chloride. Now, what's happening in the allyl system? In the allyl system, when we look at the mechanism of the uh, reaction of sulfur thionyl chloride with allyl alcohol, a six-membered uh, intermediate or a six-membered chlorosulfonic ester is formed. The halogen atom on this chlorosulfonic ester binds to the gamma carbon atom of the allyl alcohol. Okay, and then there will be a shift of the alkyl, I mean the double bond and an SO2 molecule is eliminated. So this is alpha, beta, gamma. So to this carbon, so actually the uh, thionyl chloride attaches to this uh, uh, oxygen, alcoholic oxygen. All right, and uh, you can see here this chlorine on the sulfur will attack this gamma carbon and this double bond will shift. So sort of six-membered cyclic ester is 
formed. Chlorosulfinic ester is formed and the sulfur dioxide is released. So, in, during that, uh, this uh, there is a movement of uh, the double bond. All right, from uh, the, this carbon to this carbon. That's why you start with primary alcohol, you end up with secondary chlorine chloride. So this is a mechanism with allyl system and indicating the allyl rearrangement. There is shift of double bond. All right. So uh, uh, as, uh, during SNI mechanism, there is allylic rearrangement also happening if you're uh, reactant or substrate is an allyl system. Now this pathway is the most favored pathway with allyl systems, allyl chlorosulfides. They prefer SNI mechanism. All right. Now uh, if we summarize this uh, SNI mechanism, it is a nucleophilic substitution reaction happening internally and there is retention of configuration that is the product and the reactant has the same configuration when it is happening as an, in a via SNI pathway. Now it uh, is a second order reaction that is the uh, thionyl chloride and the re uh, alcohol decides the rate, uh, rate of the reaction. If it is phosgene, the same is the case. Now this reaction is favored with allyl chlorosulfides, so a favored pathway for allyl chlorosulfides also. And if you are changing the solvent, then SNI mechanism, the, the system moves from SNI to SN2 mechanism. So instead of uh, either a dioxane, if you are using pyridine, then you will get uh, an inverted product rather than a retained product. And also with allyl system, there will be rearrangement of the allyl group. The, there is allylic rearrangement happening. So these are the um, major points which we need to know under the SNI mechanism. Hope it's clear to you. Please feel free to ask if you need any more clarifications. Thank you.